walking into this building, it, it's quite a surprise. Externally, it doesn't give you any idea of the heights and proportions of it internally, really. And I, as it came through the door there, I thought, wow, you know, it's what a wonderfully vertical, vertically inspired interior. And of course, with this lovely hanging rood, James, is that a recent addition to the church? Yeah, look, I think Pugin would be very proud of that. And of course, there's some wonderful stained glass in the church as well that you may wish to have a look at um, later on. And of course, the exterior of the church, it's built in granite, which is obviously local building stone, as we saw in Beechworth yesterday. And we, of course, we don't see too much of that in many other parts of Australia. But, you know, a very fine building and, uh, um, and obviously a very wonderful vertical, vertically inspired um, sanctuary as well. So it's great to be back here. Um, the organs in this church have a rather chequered history. I can remember coming here possibly in the 1960s in the most beautiful Fincham and Hobday tracker organ of about 18 or 20 stops sitting behind that case up there and then unfortunately they were visited by uh, a charlatan um, who said I can rebuild this organ you know for next to nothing and of course he did rebuild it for next to nothing and it lasted five minutes and it was basically a, largely a write-off although I think the slider chests were used in organs somewhere else. So what you see up there is the case of the original Fincham and Hobday organ with some beautiful stenciling on it and, um, but behind that is an organ with a very, very mixed pedigree. Um, bits of it came from an organ at the Peace Memorial Church, Methodist Church in East Malvern. And when I looked inside that organ, it was just bits and pieces from everywhere. I suspect that there might have even been a hill uh, swell box and a hill swell chest in it as well. And I thought, where on earth could that have come from? And I thought, aha, Christ Church South Yarra because when Fincham's rebuilt that organ, they put in totally new chests in the organ. I suppose they just went out to their store and said, okay, we'll put a bit of that in this organ. So that organ um, was taken out. APO um, got some bits from it and also used up other parts of St John's Camberwell. And um, they made it into an organ, a new organ for the Baptist Church in Coburg, which only lasted there a short time. And then obviously St Matthew's had an organ well, I had no organ basically at all, and uh, the, um, some of those bits were sort of hidden behind the Fincham and Hobday case. So it's a bit deceptive. What it's, you know, what you see is not what you necessarily get. And uh, I was saying to James, it would be rather marvellous if uh, it were possible to have a recycled, redundant organ of some size and capability behind there. But anyway, look, that's something for the future, isn't it? We won't go into that right now. Um, now, James is going to play both of the organs here, obviously the organ up there, which um, played from the attached console down there, but behind him there is one of Hill Norman and Beard's little Dorian sort of model organs, and I'll be talking about those in my paper this afternoon. And I don't know how many of them they made, probably at least half a dozen, and they were handy as a stopgap organ if a church had an organ being rebuilt or restored. They can just wheel those in, shove the pipes in and... Uh, probably a matter of an hour if it all be up and working but uh, obviously it's probably an asset for you here James because I suppose that the sound of that organ is quite remote in some ways from what goes on down here and uh, so you know you're rather lucky you've got two instruments here I mean that's a, a luxury that most churches can't boast of although not unique so would you like to say what you're going to play thank you very much good morning everybody as you know my name is James Flores and um this is my home parish. I was actually baptised here. I won't tell you what year, but over, over here before the baptistry was moved, was moved down there. Um, so I've had a long history of this parish, but I didn't get into the organ until much later in life, uh, 2011, uh, when my first organ teacher, Benedict Wilson, was playing the organ down there. And that's when I decided to really get into the organ. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate both organs. On the, on the Dorian organ, I'm just going to play something very little. Uh, a piece of sway link that I normally wouldn't play during liturgy um, to demonstrate both the ranks. And then we'll have the hymn. And uh, thanks to the magic of um, Campbell, we can play both organs from the one console, but only the, uh, the principal rank from the, from the main console. So if you're sitting there, all you're gonna hear is the, the little organ. So I suggest maybe sit in the middle of the church and then I'll uh, demonstrate the, the main organ with, a, with one, only one piece of music, but there's about five or six movements, piece of uh, Denny Bedar. It shows all the colours of the organ, so thank you. <laughs> 